Welcome to Tesla Uras Photography, where we make memories, not just photography here we are uh, my vlog today as you can see I'm outside and in the background you can hear the cars racing I'll show you the waterfront okay I'm down underneath this place is usually very very busy it is quiet right now even the water is very very calm uh, Yeah, I'm using my selfie stick. <laughs> Works good. I like it. So I'm just sort of sitting here. You know, this is our Wednesday, uh, the sixth of uh, January, February, March, April, May. Wow, sixth of May already. How time flies. And they're even talking. I'm still talking of snow in at night. Temperature dropping. But there's still lots of people around. Lots of kids around. In today's vlog, we're going to basically cover what's been happening. They've lifted a few restrictions. I mean, few. Uh, some of them I really question. Um, okay, nurseries. That brings up the story of uh, you still got to do curbside buying. In other words, you order your tr whatever you want. It's um, a tree. You can order your tree online. Then... Uh, It'll come to you, or uh, you can pick it up curbside. Okay, two years ago, this is why I'm sort of thinking back here, but two years ago, I had the same situation. I wanted a tree. I wanted a plum tree, a new plum tree in my backyard. So I went to the nursery, I started looking around. We had our, we wanted the royal plum. So we saw what we wanted, and we found it, and we were going to pick it up. But as it turned out, we also started looking around and we found an apple tree. One of those, I believe it's three apples on one tree, three different types. We thought that was kind of cool. It's three or four different types, I'm not sure. I'll have to double check that. Uh, I thought it was kind of cool. I'll show you that up in the corner up here. This corner, yeah, it should be this corner up here. I hope. <laughs> uh, it should be up in the corner. I'll show you a picture of that tree. <laughs> What's interesting about it was I would not have bought it had I done a curbside pickup. I would have got my, excuse me, if you know that, I would have got my plum tree and I wouldn't have had the apple tree. So would I buy anything right now? No, I would not order a tree unless I knew exactly that's what I want. Because again, I want to pick up my own tree. I don't want them picking it up for me. I don't want somebody else telling me what I need or I should have. I like to do it myself. So whether they're open or not, they're not getting my business. And I would tell people, caution people, be very careful. Remember, you're buying stuff that they want you to buy, not stuff that you want to buy. So with that piece of advice, go ahead. If you really need it, go ahead and buy it. Plants and little things like that, yeah, you're not going to go too wrong. But even plants, I, I've seen, for example, tomato plants. I've literally walked out of places because I didn't like their tomato plants and I went somewhere else and bought them because I like theirs better. I don't have that choice. If I bought a tomato plant, I get what I paid for and that's it. So no, uh, I'll pass on all that this year. I don't, I'm not going to be crazy about planting my own garden and all that anyways. I'm still going to support our local economy as much as we can and we should. So and yeah. I noticed what's opening up too is uh, golf courses. Okay, well I've heard that Ford isn't a really an avid golf player. I thought maybe he was. Maybe that's why he opened them up. But I got a feeling his buddies are. I would rather have seen doctor offices 
and healthcare workers and uh, veterinarians open up first before opening up anything else. Let's get selective surgeries done again in the hospital. There's people literally dying right now because the government says you can't be open, you can't do surgeries. So really, the government is sentencing people to death. Not through the virus, but through something that could have been totally, uh, totally avoided. There's people are gonna die now. All because the government is more interested because Mr. Ford wants to go golfing or have his buddies go golfing instead of looking after our doctors. We need our doctors, we need our surgeries. We gotta open those up again. I'm sorry for the people that have the virus, that are sick, but we also need to get our doctors back to work. Without that, we're gonna have a lot more problems. And a lot of these problems could be solved if we get our doctors back to work. So, said with that, I'm not gonna carry on too much more. I'm gonna let it go with that. That was my whole little pet peeve for right now. Yeah, you're opening up nurseries and golf courses and forgetting about the people that really need the doctors and veterinarians and things like that, and you're ignoring them. I hope people remember that come election time, but what I'm really, really disappointed in, where's the opposition party for the uh, provincial government? I thought there was one. Maybe there isn't one. I thought there was one. The federal government, well, we're going to do a separate blog on them. It's not even a bigger joke. But, you know, I did have uh, support for Mr. Ford. That just changed. When I saw what he's opening up, when I realized that he's more concerned about his buddies playing golf than the average person getting to see his doctor, that was really, really disappointing. Okay. Uh, I'm going to include a couple of pictures. You're going to see that even before it started opening up, they opened up those small sections, very small sections. The, oh, yeah, I almost forgot. My other pet peeve. Home Depot, Lowe's, uh, all these big uh, uh, Rona, which is part of Lowe's, all these Home Depot, you can only do curbside pickup. Can you believe that? Curbside pickup. Yet, I can go into a Walmart, I can go into a Loblaw, I can go into any grocery store and buy what I want. But I cannot go in to a Home Depot and pick up my own screws, my own lumber. And yet, these places could have the same restrictions as Walmart have, and people could go in and pick out what they want. Now we're stuck, we gotta take whatever they give us. <clears throat> yes, you can pick up a paint swap at the curbside, then you go home, you figure out what paint you want, hopefully it'll be right, you take the swap back and then you go pick up your paint. I like to select my own paint, I like to select my own paint swaps at the store, not, not wait you know, two, three weeks. We were gonna do some renovations, I've got the paint already, I need ceiling paint, but they're basic paint. I could order that, technically, but I'm not going to. Uh, I won't buy from Home Depot just out of principle now, and I won't deal there for now. What I would seriously consider is looking at opening those stores up and putting in, if you really have to, put in in place the same restrictions that Walmart, Lowe's, uh, Loblaws, not Lowe's, Loblaws, uh, and the other stores have. Foodland, Mike Dean's here, even in town. I can go in there and do shopping. Can't find what I want, but I can do shopping. So, uh, if it, I can go in the dollar store for crying out loud. You know how small a dollar store is? And do shopping. But I can't go into a Home Depot, the size of Home Depot, and do my shopping. Another pet peeve. Okay, so I'm going to close her off with today. I'll do a couple of quick shots of here in town, what's going on, and you'll see. It's pretty quiet, and nobody's wearing a mask. Wow. I think on average, I see when I work every day, I think I see an average of maybe two or three people that wear a mask. That's it. Even walking around the store in Walmart, a couple of people wear a mask. Yes, I have seen a couple of people wear a mask. And that's it. But you think about one thing more. More people died 
from the influenza last year worldwide than we've even come close to so far with the coronavirus. And again, who's the hardest hit? Nursing homes. And that's where we should be concentrating on. Let's concentrate on getting people back to work. Let's concentrate on moving forward. Let's concentrate on helping the nursing homes. There's people who haven't seen their relatives that are stuck in nursing homes for over a month now, all through just through a class. We got to start doing something better, you know, especially if an elderly person is going to pass away and yet you can't even see them. We can't do funerals. We can't go to a funeral. We can't do weddings. Please, we've got to start looking at opening and getting things slowly. Yes, not like instantly, but slowly. Let's get things opened up again. If people are going to get the virus, they're going to get the virus, whether we're open or closed. Okay. And those that think that by hiding in a home, yeah. And then there's the people on the CRE, CERB, yeah. Uh, yeah, the welfare fund, really what I like to call it. That's an abuse, greatest abuse I've seen. Uh, and I've seen um, CTV tonight brought this uh, lady who's a, <laughs> she's a wedding photographer, okay? I'm a wedding photographer. You don't see me claiming CERB. In fact, I had to make a switch. I'm now driving truck. I um, also was working part-time in order to make ends meet because I don't care how good a wedding photographer you are, the business is not there. I know a lot of wedding photographers. There's not enough all year round business to say, I can be sit back and just be a photographer. So now she's collecting money that she wasn't even making before. So she's doing a lot better now than she ever did before. And I think she's actually quite happy that this is happening because she's doing better. Uh, personally, no, I, I can't do that. I have to still get out and work and make my way through. Uh, I could have sat back easily too, being a photographer and registered business. I could have sat back and said, okay, I'll let CERB pay for my way now. But I can't do that. I have bills. I have commitments. I have equipment I got to pay for and purchase and replace. So I'm still working and I will continue working. And I'll still be a wedding photographer and I can still work. So I also DJ on the side. So I have several businesses on the side that I'm now affected by it. I can't DJ and I can't do my wedding photography. So I'm stuck too. But I'm going to carry on and I do have another job and I will continue with that job. I won't give it up just so I can sit back and collect money off the government. So, uh, did people make, I hope people made their, their quota for last year. And yeah, so anyways, we're gonna let you go and hope you come back and watch us on this channel again.